Hi and welcome back to Bloxy. Today we're going to tackle a subject that's a little bit more advanced. We're going to check out how to create a multi-language website. This comes in really handy if you wish to offer a personalized experience for the people visiting your site from other countries. With Bloxy, we offer full integration with plugins such as Polylang and WPML. And we even offer a handy language switcher element for the header in our premium package. For this demonstration, we will use the free Polylang plugin, but it will work just as great with WPML if you already own that. Let's get going. First, we start by installing the Polylang plugin. Navigate to the WordPress dashboard, then go to the plugins section. Search for Polylang, and once the search results pop up, install and activate the plugin. Upon activation of the plugin, you will be asked to select the languages you wish to add to the website. You are free to add as many as you wish. For our demonstration, we will add English, French, and German as our languages. Next, we are asked if we wish to allow Polylang to translate the media files as well. This will include the description, alt tag, and so on. This decision is completely up to you and will not affect the functionality of your website. Next comes a very important step. It is assumed that you already have some content created on your website and you will be asked to assign it to a language. Though again, this step is completely optional if you're just getting started. For our case, we'll assign all the existing content to English. Next, you're asked to confirm if you wish Polylang to automatically create new versions of the homepage for the selected languages. Yes, we'll choose to do that. And we're done with the basic Polylang setup. Pretty simple so far. Let's look at a few options. Go to the Pages menu and we find a new column that allows you to create new versions of your existing pages for the newly added languages. Simply click on the plus sign and this will automatically create the page and assign it to that specific language. Let's skip ahead a bit while we prepare the website for our languages. Before we wrap up, we'd like to note a few things. First, let's check out the handy language selector header element that you can add. Go to Customizer, Header and voila, the new language element is available. Adding and configuring it reveals a number of customization options available, such as the style to the switcher and display settings. But don't go yet, because there's more. We wanted to make the integration really special, so for each element, you have the conditional dialog box available. You get a new option to only display that section for a specific language. For example, you'd like to create a separate header for your German customers. You can easily create a new header and assign it to the German language as shown on the screen. Let's check out the front end to see what we've accomplished. What we see is our language switcher inside the header, and that looks great. Let's switch to German to see how it looks. Notice that the contents of the home page have changed to German as well, and of course, the newly created header shows up just for the German language. And that's pretty much it. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in understanding how Bloxy comes to help in creating a beautiful multilingual website. Feel free to drop us a line at creativethemes.com if you have any questions or run into any issues. Until next time.